good evening uh, today i am going to talk about use of poct and related problems as you know dominant model of laboratory testing throughout the world today is centralized laboratory and most of the analytical processes are automated and we can analyze large number of samples at relatively low cost and it's well established in clinical chemistry section however healthcare is changing due to economic pressure shortage of personnel and economic growth of developing countries there's a shift towards more patient centered care so we need to provide faster result to take rapid decision and testing of chronically ill patients and uh, we need to uh, give the access to the patients with limited access to medical care so we can use this because of above mentioned factors together with recent advances in technology it contributed to development of point of care testing however there is generally there is no generally accepted definition but according to college of american pathologists test which are designed to be used at or near the site where a patient is located that do not require permanent dedicated space and that are performed outside the physical facilities of the clinical laboratories we are calling it point of care testing so these are the typical characteristics of the point of care testing test are performed near the patient and no usually there is no sample preparation is required we can use whole blood no pipetting steps ready to use reagents single sample measurement and more importantly we know, we don't need medical technical experts here and results are available in a short time period poct provide test risk, test result quickly however despite ongoing improvement in technology and operational simplicity poct has many potential limitations so therefore they are uh, to ensure accurate and reliable test result poct guidelines are described there are plans for the equipment selection and maintenance staff training reporting of result external quality assurance of the poct and internal quality control procedures of the poct these guidelines cover those parts these are the main areas of application within the hospital we may commonly use in emergency department icu operating room delivery room neonatal wards ct scanning and invasive radiology units uh, diabetic ward care ward dialysis unit outside the hospital we can use it in physician's office pharmacy home care and nursing care and ambulance and emergency vehicles health care centers patients home as well as importantly disaster and pandemic locations according to clia regulation in 1988 tests are divided into two wave test and non wave test wave test are these are low complex test which does not co uh, does not significant risk if there is a erroneous result occurred wave non wave test are test of medium or complex high complex test so poct not specifically refer to clia wave test but it can include non wave medium complexity test so primary goal of the poct is reducing the turnaround time without compromising the quality of report and faster diagnostic and therapeutic processes shorter length of stay and low total medical cost clinicians and patient satisfaction use in epidemic pandemics and disasters and healthcare in rural areas 
As in a central laboratory testing procedure, here also we can divide the testing cycle in pre-analytical, analytical and post-analytical phases. In pre-analytical phase, factors such as patient preparation, specimen collection, specimen preservation use if appropriate, and sample application to the test strips or cartridge of the POCT device can affect the quality of the POCT report. So, if there is any failure to recognize and eliminate these errors, it can lead to incorrect test result and can cause to bad patient safety and health outcomes. In analytical part, most importantly, incorrect timing. Incorrect timing for the reading of the urine dipsticks or immunochromatography test can cause errors. In a uh, dipstick, degree of color change indicate the concentration of different analytes in the uh, sample we are analyzing. If color bad, we read it earlier or later than the manufacturer's recommended time interval, it causes to either underestimate or overestimation of the patient test result. And similarly, in linear, linear flow chromatographic test such as quick pregnancy test, it also should be readed at manufacturer recommended time interval to prevent false negatives and false positive result. In post analytical phase, there can be errors can happen due to manu manual transcriptions and if you match the electronic test result to the incorrect patient. So we have to be careful in these situations. In practice, most errors in POCT arise in pre-analytical phase as in common centralized laboratory setup rather than analytical or post-analytical phase. So POCT operator must perform POCT procedure according to device manufacturer's instructions and institutions establish management system. So any deviation from that manufacturer's instruction can cause error in the measurement and it can cause to compromise in patient safety. So we have to be careful in that part. So now I'm going to talk about types of the POCT devices. POCT devices can be divided according to their size we divided into two parts, small handheld devices. It ranges from simple form of dipsticks and to the sophisticated form of small cartridge devices. And there are large bench top devices as well. So when we talk about dipsticks, it designed for single use and give qualitative or semi-quantitative result. We can detect up to, uh, from 1 to up to 10 analytes according to the dipstick we are selecting and there are chemical or immune reaction take place. So sig uh, single uh, signal can be read off directly visually or we can record it on a sample readout device. When we talk about integrated cartridges, these are more sophisticated handheld devices and uh, we can place small amount of whole blood into the cartridge for the measurement. Then we insert the cartridge into the reader for the measurement. Cartridges are produced in various formats for different analytes. Large POCT benchtop devices, they, uh, they mimic miniaturized automated analysis and reagents and solutions are contained in prefabricated disposable disc or cartridges with different combinations according to the analytes we are selecting. Uh, usually 100 microliter of sample is adequate for 10 analytes. Self calibrators and controls are integrated into these devices. Lifespan of the cartridge when inserted into the machine is based on the number of samples analyzed and the duration of life, 
duration of the cartridge. So POCT commonly handled by non-laboratory person and it's usually single analyte device with low number of samples. So it's uh, different from the central, central laboratory analysis. So we cannot adapt it central laboratory internal QC procedures for the POCT. So internal quality control should be specially designed for the POCT environment. Q, uh, QC for POCT, uh, QC sample should be tested at minimum before each new batch of lot a batch or lot number of reagent or cartridges when we get into routine use. Ideally, QC sample should be tested with each group of patients test performing. Frequency of testing QC samples should be according to the device manufacturer's recommendations. In addition to regular QC program, QC testing should also be undertaken when lot number of consumables are changed and new consumables are received. Operator does not have confidence in reliability or accuracy of the test result. Healthcare professionals who receive the result believe that POCT result is not compatible with the patient's clinical picture and maintenance procedures have been carried out on the test system also we you, we should do qc testing when qc te uh, when test system has suffered a physical insult like being dropped or temperature extremes then we have to do a qc run many pocit systems have number of inbuilt quality control checks these checks uh, they check the sample integrity, sample flow and sample volume. However, they may not check the entire testing process. In this situation, any form of QC may be needed depending on the uh, level of the risk of the wrong result which lead to adverse outcome of the patient. In some POCT devices, there are electronic QC process which check the uh, devices measurement signal but it does not check the measurement that mean analytical part of this system. Each uh, POCT uh, system should participate in a recognized QA, EQA program. Now I am going to talk about commonly used POCT devices in Sri Lanka. Uh, first, uh, urine dipsticks. It's very simple to use, but operator should pay attention to cover the whole pad, pad with the sample and time period between the place placing the sample on the pad and comparing the color with the card. This is the uh, procedure where uh, I have got it. Uh, you can just go through it. Uh, we collect the sample in a sterile, clean, dry container and we put the dip the strip into urine sample and we get the strip out of the sample and we keep it ac uh, according to the manufacturer's recommended time period and we can read it uh, visually co compare into color chart or we can use readout machine. This is the uh, 10 analytes uh, urine dipstick uh, which in, in, uh, commonly use but we can choose according to uh, analytes we need. Now glucometer, this is a glucometer with uh, dis, uh, display screen and test strips and lensing device. So now how we use blood glucometer, following steps should be followed when using the glucometer. We should load the lancet inside the lensing device and take out the glucose strips from the container and insert it into the glucometer. On proper insertion, machine will automatically turn on and then wash your hand with warm water. It will increase blood flow to the, your finger 
and rub the tip of the finger with alcohol soap and it will reduce the in, uh, chances of contamination then prick the side of the finger with the lancet device however glucometer is not suitable for testing arterial blood and serum and you have to pay attention when pricking the same finger multiple time can lead to scar on your finger so you need to keep change in the finger for blood sample collection for every meter used for any patient testing one successful qc measurement should be performed at both high and low control solutions within 24 hour of clinical use if clinical uh, if qc measurement failure uh, fails with given uh, control solution second measure should uh, performed with same a bottle of strips and solution if it if it again fails we have to use new bottle of strips and control and do it again if again it get, get fail we have to get the uh, clinical engineer in supporting for the linearity checking qc solution sh uh, test should be performed when first receiving the or purchase in the meter check in the meter with test, test strips and use in the new vial of test strips when you suspect meter or test strips are not working properly when your blood glucose test are not consistent with your expectation or you think the result are not accurate and uh, when practice in the testing procedure and meter has been dropped or damaged glucometer calibration first to make sure you have fresh batteries installed in the device before beginning the process then insert one uh, test strip into the meter according to the instruction given by the manufacturer and wait to display the result on the screen once you get the result compare it with uh, what is written on the strip still if they match your meter is calibrated if not adjust according to uh, they get match according to manufacturer's instructions now arterial blood gas it's common in clinical practice commonly used in etus icu and uh, pbu they use sensors to measure blood gases electrolyte and metabolites it's easy to use automated and need low maintenance ideal for rapid reliable and reproducible result now uh, cardiac troponin recent studies suggest new pocit high sensitivity cardiac troponin assays are comparable to laboratory based assays and early assessment uh, strategies like one hour one hour uh, zero hour zero hour to one hour protocols may also be achieved with pocit high sensitivity cardiac troponin values however these studies have reported potential benefits although they use the serum which is stored rather than whole blood usually we use at the emergency department or uh, cardiology unit so early root rule out of uh, using single sample and serial sample strategies may be ab uh, able to safely manage emergency patient who are suspected to having acute coronary syndrome although studies demonstrate comparable diagnostic performance with laboratory based assays they have not performed using whole blood in POCT like using uh, ED department however there is one recent study as uh, high sensitivity cardiac troponin assay was compared uh, result using both whole blood and plasma and they have shown the result are analytically equivalent now urine hcg indications for the urine hcg is a diagnosis of pregnancy especially where we need rapid diagnosis of pregnancy like in a ectopic pregnancy condition turnaround time is very low compared to central laboratory testing procedure however 
urine uh, hcg is stable at uh, 2 to 8 degree for up to 48 hours and uh, useful for laboratory testing we can do long term storage uh, but it's rarely needed hcg remino reactivity is not significantly affected when stored below 10 no 5 to uh, 10 degree celsius for 5 days but however avoid samples standing at ambient temperature for extended time periods before testing to prevent deterioration of the urine hcg whole uh, are whole blood hcg test better than urine hcg test for urine hcg we have to wait for the urine collection so it may affect the turnaround time some uh, in this situation whole blood hcg may be useful and sometimes patient may unwilling to give urine for the test procedure and sometimes patient is unable to urinate due to trauma or acute presentation of painful condition so in this situation we can use whole blood hcg procedure but there are limitation in whole blood hcg procedure whole blood is not an approved specimen for rapid hcg kits off label use as a modified method is also not recommended Quantitative HCG results are only available for, uh, from a few whole blood methods with upper reportable range of 1500 to 2000 milli international units per milliliter. And whole blood cannot be diluted. Whole blood, uh, whole blood HCG concentration around the time of uh, first missed period, that means fourth complete week since uh, in la last last menstrual period is uh, 205 to 506 uh, international units per milliliter so whole blood hcg is of limited uh, value in clinical use for serial testing and uh, early after conception and due to narrow reportable range there is a risk of missing the pregnancy and rapid uh, due to rapid hcg rise after implantation so now i am going to talk about pros and cons of poct was lab central laboratory testing poct can provide definitive advantage to the treating clinician it have minimal risk better cost saving and it provide quality healthcare experience for the patient. However, co-laboratory is tested to, uh, co-laboratory testing target to more advanced test and they follow process of more science of laboratory testing and these are fully integrated with technology necessary to ensure that results are accurate, analyzed, validated and uh, recorded. So, POCT would not overtake conventional laboratory diagnostic or even replace it. However, POCT and central laboratory test can be complementary. Central laboratory test will continue to dominate the processing of large scale analysis series and complex specialized test. So, these are my references and thank you.